Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome back to my channel if you're an oldie but a goodie. Today I'm going to be sharing our evening and nighttime routine. I'm going to take you through our after school activities, cooking, bath time, cleaning, all of that stuff. As parents, we know how important it is to have a consistent routine for kids. It just helps everything run a little bit more smoothly. So I'm just going to be sharing a typical evening routine for us. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So Uriah gets out of school around 2.45 and every evening we always try to go together to pick him up. It doesn't always happen but we always try to be done with whatever we're doing so that we can go together and that's just like a little luxury for me because I love being able to pick him up daily. So once Uriah gets home from school, the first thing on his mind is a snack. So I'm just giving him popcorn, M&Ms, and a little mandarin. So as he digs in, we kind of catch up on his day and chat about what he learned at school. And it's always fun to hear his adventures if he can remember what happened. Because a lot of the times he's like, oh, I don't remember what happened at school. So <laughs> yeah, sometimes I kind of have to like pull it out of him. And as he enjoys his little snack, he likes to unwind playing on his tablet, which we're okay with. We are spring time people over here in moderation, of course, but it gives me a chance to kind of finish up on a little bit of work before we move on to our after school activities. And it's a great way for him to just wind down and relax after a long day of learning. So while the boys have a little bit of downtime, I am finishing up some work from earlier. I had been editing a YouTube video and editing can be so time consuming, but I actually really like to edit. It's one of my favorite things to do, um, but it can be a little bit tedious, but I tried to stay focused and have everything done by four o'clock. And I always try my best to set boundaries, especially when my schedule gets a little bit busier. So I like to have a set time to finish work every day. Um, that way I can fully engage in family and be present for dinner, bath time, and whatever else we have planned for the day. So I really try to take advantage of this little window of time so that I can just finish up whatever work I have. So now Uriah is getting ready for jujitsu. He's been doing this for almost a year now and he really enjoys it. Um, so this is one of his after school activities. We normally do this two to four times throughout the week. And once we get home, it's time to start dinner. So this is normally about 5.45 and tonight we're having a meal from HelloFresh. So thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. I absolutely love HelloFresh. We've been using it for such a long time. HelloFresh really takes the hassle out of meal time, which is important for me because I don't really wanna have to think about it. I love that everything comes right to your door, easy to prepare recipes, everything's pre-portioned. So you don't even have to worry about going to the grocery store or anything and knowing that HelloFresh has everything covered just makes it so much easier for me. And not only does HelloFresh make cooking more convenient, but the pre-portioned ingredients also cut down on food waste by at least 23% compared to grocery shopping. So that's always a plus. HelloFresh is also cheaper than grocery shopping. I don't know if you guys have noticed the prices of groceries here lately, but it's getting kind of crazy. So HelloFresh can also help you save money while you enjoy delicious meals that you don't even have to think about. So be sure to head over to HelloFresh.com and use my code NutraV50 for 50% off of your first box plus free shipping. Now we're gonna sit down and have dinner. Y'all keep Uriah eating while we're staying the grace. <laughs> He just couldn't wait. Um, but this meal that we had from HelloFresh was so delicious. It was turkey bowls with yellow rice and a white sauce. 
pita bread, absolutely delicious. And it only took us 15 minutes to make. So that's another great thing because I don't like taking a lot of time in the evenings to make dinner. I want something that's gonna be quick and easy. So now we're gonna get started with bath time. I went ahead and got comfortable. Now I'm starting Ezra's bath. This night Colton was gonna put Ezra down so I started bath time with Uriah and I always like to make sure he's in the bed somewhere between 745 and 8. Um, it has gotten a little bit later since the time changed. It was super early because it was getting dark so early that we would start to just naturally shut down earlier. But here recently we've been really consistent with having him in bed between 745 and 8. Excited to read your Bible story? Yes, and I should read everyone in. Can you tell them one story out of there that we've read about? Okay, I want to tell them this one. Which one is that? Uh, Noah's Ark. That's right. What do you remember about Noah's Ark? How uh, long did it rain? Uh, I know about Noah's Ark. Okay, okay. They build a boat mm -hmm. and the people thought that was funny right and then and then uh how many animals did god tell noah to put on the ark two 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 two, two of two. everything two of everything and do you remember how long it um it rained yeah how long did it rain uh one million not one million it wasn't. It was for 40? 40 days. 40 days? That's right. And then the water started flooding and everyone else died. That's right, because they didn't listen to God. Yeah. And they all speak to different. Oh, that was the um that was the Babel. Remember oh. that was the other one. They spoke in different this languages. One? That's right, the Tower of Babel. So we love to read to the boys at night just to help them wind down. And here recently, I started doing the Bible bedtime stories with Uriah, and he really enjoys it. So after we read a story, I'll ask him a few questions just to see if he was really listening and paying attention. And reading these to him at night is really helping me freshen up on some of my Bible stories and learn some new ones. Um, so yeah, we got it from Amazon if you guys want to check it out. I'll put 
the link in the description box. So after we read the bedtime story, we say our prayers and I get him to tell me five things that he's thankful for. And usually I'll put it on a 30 minute show just to kind of help him wind down. And he's usually asleep within 15 to 20 minutes. And as I'm sure so many of you know, bedtime can be so hectic. So that's why Colton and I always tackle it together. Um, once he got Ezra settled down, he started cleaning up the kitchen. We always try to do this the night before because it just helps the next morning go smoothly and make it really easy to make lunch and have breakfast and all of that. So yeah, if you're able to take an extra 15 minutes in the evening and clean up, it really just helps you save time and energy for the next day. And this is a habit that has just made such a big difference in our daily routine. So after I got Uriah settled into bed, I came back downstairs to clean up the play area. Usually I'll help the boys clean up before our bedtime routine starts, but this particular evening we were running a little bit behind and when that happens, I just go ahead and get the routine started and come back later and do it. But cleaning up this space before bed is so necessary. I cannot stand to come downstairs and see this area just scattered with toys. So I just always like to take a few minutes each day to just get this space in order and get it cleaned up especially because they do have breakfast in this little area so it's always much easier to just clean it the night before and I feel like I'm just setting myself up for success for the next morning once it's good and clean. enjoyed it don't forget to check out hellofresh and remember you can use my code nitrab50 to get 50% off of your first box plus free shipping thank you guys so much for watching and as always i will talk to you all in the next one bye